I'm originally from Townsville um, and it was fantastic growing up there. I think I was a little bit of a high strung student. <laughs> um, I definitely had my eye on the prize with getting to university and getting good grades. I want to be a lawyer in the social justice sector. I was involved in a lot of volunteering at high school and I always saw the benefit of acting in an environment where you can be helping people. Being a lawyer seems like a really efficient way to do that. Tuckwell came on my radar because I became aware that my parents might not be able to fund me to live in a different city to go to university. I started Googling scholarships and came across Tuckwell. So then in year 12, I had it in my mind that that's what I wanted to apply for. And I'd done a bit of research about ANU and knew that it was one of the best law schools in Australia. And at the time, it was the only university that was offering a really well-developed um, politics, philosophy, economics program. So that settled me. I was like, I'm going to ANU. It's hard to put into words how the scholarships changed my life, really, because um, my life could have gone in a completely different direction. I would never have gotten to go to college. All the friends I've made down here through college and the scholarship, um, all the job opportunities I've gotten wouldn't have happened if I hadn't come here. It's definitely just changed the trajectory of my life. As I move on to, into my career, it's really been kick-started by Tuckwell. We've all been inspired to look at how we can take the education that we've been given and use it in a way um, that we'll be giving back to the Australian community. I think I could make a bit of a difference going back to my community and, and working in um, women's legal services. I really believe that um, there's lots of women out there who um, need assistance and, and the legal sector is a really good way to help them um, in Aboriginal legal services and things like native title and ensuring that people have access to their land and language and culture. You know, there are heaps of groups up north doing stuff like that and I'd really like to be a part of that.